And now to Kaduna State, where election observers, legal awareness for Nigerian women and Christian aid have raised concerns of um, the marginalization of the visually impaired persons, PWDs, by the Independence National Electoral Commission during the just concluded elections as monitored in the state. Speaking at the presentation of uh, observation report in Kaduna, the acting executive director of the LAWN, Hanatu Ahuan, said trained observers were deployed into 86 polling unit across all the world in Jaba, Jemma, Kaura and Zangon Kataf local government areas to observe the governorship and state house of assembly elections. They said that despite INEX's assurance and provision of disability inclusive voting materials to ensure persons with disabilities vote, there was no means of communication, braille, large embossed print, electronic devices and sign language interpretation which disenfranchised their PWDs in some polling units. Visually impaired were marginalized. There was no provision of suitable means of communication such as braille, large embossed prints, electronic devices, sign language interpretation, or off-site voting in appropriate cases for the visually impaired and incapacitated voters at the various polling units as stipulated in the Electoral Act. In most cases, the visually impaired or persons with any form of disability were given priority by other voters and allowed to be accompanied by someone to help them identify symbols or help in voting, while in some polling units they were assisted by political party agents of their choice after informing the presiding officer, which ought not to be so. The observers commended the electoral umpire for the conduct of the state elections uh, compared to that of the presidential and national assembly. We call on INEC to consider the following recommendations. Conducting all the elections in one day as against the current practice. This is cost-effective, will reduce the untold hardship endured by voters during elections and also address the issue of low voter turnout for the gubernatorial and state house of assembly elections. To reduce the high number of invalid votes recorded in both elections, INEC, other government agencies responsible for voter education and the civil society need to improve on the sensitization drive towards educating the citizenry on how to vote right. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.